not what it's for. That's for um, that's a savings account. So if you have an emergency, you have something to fall back on. We are rotating into the habit of using that for operational concerns, and I'm against that. But the school systems, regardless of my feelings on fund balance, the school system is very critical right now and cannot touch their fund balance unless it's an absolute emergency. Now, on the estimated cost, did we not have an estimated cost of, of around $350,000 for? We do have an estimated cost, and that's exactly what it is, an estimated cost. We haven't done requests for proposals or bids. Um, we were just looking at the idea, and we talked to a few vendors that were capable of doing that. Um, right now, if we were to do a request for proposals just for a time management system, we don't have an accounting system that will hold it. So we. It would need to be the whole package if we did that. A request for proposals for someone that could do the whole package. Now we had um, Gory Reagan come in on one day for a workshop. Skyler came in the next. Gory Reagan cannot do the whole package, but they can relate with local government, um, which can do our accounting package. Skyler can do total package. They do accounting and time management together. So that was just two systems that we know of that are used by local systems that we know work. So that's what we look at. But no, we do not have a firm bid price, but we do have an estimate. And I would assume, I do know Skyward has said that their pricing, their estimate, will go void December 31st. And you can expect a 20% increase on top of that. If I could add one other thing, Madam Chair. Uh, I know times are extremely tough, but as elected officials, as office holders, we are stewards of taxpayers' money. And there are times when you have to spend money to realize savings. All of our neighboring communities, Johnson City's coming on board with this system, all the way to Pigeon Forge, they see the need. I'm certain their fund balances aren't a whole lot better than ours. But anytime you have an opportunity to spend money where you can realize a return uh, within a 12 to 18 month period, 100% return on your money, then we're obligated to take those stances. And uh, we have been given assurances, irrespective of what the cost is, that we're looking somewhere between 12 and 18 month payback at the outside. Then you're realizing on the lowest end with Skyward, the estimate was what, about $140,000 plus dollars? That was the estimate they Right, that was just an estimate. The return on investment calculations that Ingrid had done earlier, based on our true numbers here, came in close to upwards of $400,000. So we know that there's something between $140,000, $150,000, dollars $400,000 savings after that initial investment. And that's savings year after year after year going forward. So it would be kind of foolish of us to not take some stance today, at least put out a request for proposal the system, see what we're talking about before we uh, just turn it down in its entirety. Well, the, the intent was not to turn it down uh, at all uh, at this point in time. The, uh, you know, uh, we are, uh, I hope we have the mind focus of trying to plan for budget, uh, upcoming budget year, and with this, if, if this is something that needs to go forward to the budget, then we are doing the groundwork for the budget committee. This, to me, has been a planning session for, uh, uh, for this committee to bring forth to the budget committee uh, for them to uh, incorporate that into the budget if that's the so desire of the uh, elected officials. Uh,